So this is the AV Forums Home Cinema and I want to show you how the image screens Art Cinema Mask screen works. So that's the screen as you walk into the home cinema. It's the artwork produced by Andrew Timms uh, printed onto uh, the screen material. Everything's controlled using the iPad. If we wanted to watch a Blu-ray, then hopefully you can see this. So this is the application that we're using and I'm going to press the Blu-ray button. The first sound that you can hear was the uh, protective cover over the JVC projector moving out of the way. Uh, the blinds are actually now on the way down, but I'm going to put them back up because I want to put some light in here. Blinds up. <clears throat> As you can see, the uh, artwork is moving out of the way, and we now have the um, the screen to watch the Blu-ray on. Uh, it takes a moment or two for the JVC to power up, the JVC projector, the X75. Okay, and that's the Oppo Blu-ray player, um, which we can control using the iPad. So I'm going to go, for example, down to Netflix and select that. <clears throat> and that's going to power Netflix up. through the uh, Oppo Blu-ray player. Okay, so we've recently watched Machine Gun Preacher and uh, House of Cards and Deja Vu and lots of other stuff. But if we select, for example, Deja Vu, I'm just going to play that. Now the screen in its current configuration is 16 by 9 um, but as you can see the movie is um, 2.35 to 1 and as soon as it starts and we have a better idea of what's going on I'll change the, let's fast forward this a little bit and play <clears throat> So just turn the volume down a little bit and what I'm also going to do is change the aspect ratio of the screen to match the 2.35 to 1 ratio of the movie and that happens to be on this button here and you'll see what happens then is the four-way masking adjusts to, to fit the 2.35 to 1 presentation of the screen of the movie. Okay, so uh, looking very nice actually, Netflix. Um, let's just see, see what happens. I'm going to turn the lights off, lighting off, and bring the blinds down. And uh, you should be able to. Uh, It's never a good idea to uh, try and demonstrate the picture quality by videoing it because uh, you lose so much in the translation. But let's turn it up. Yeah. 
wallop. So let's stop this and go and watch something like House of Cards. And we'll go uh, back, put on House of Cards. And uh, we can see that uh, the aspect ratio of the screen is all wrong now. So I'm going to, if you can see this, <clears throat> bring up the menu and press this other button, the, actually the um, asterisk, and that changes the aspect ratio back to 16 by 9. Let's uh, turn the lighting on tusk won't accept the nomination and bring the blinds up okay so that's blu-ray if we want to watch sky all we have to do is press the sky button up here that turns the blu-ray player off oh blinds have started coming back down again let's take them back up and there's sky So uh, we now have this sky menu here and uh, I go to guide and uh, choose movies and uh, oh yeah let's put the born legacy on oops uh, let's just cancel that. Born Legacy. This is the pain. This we don't, we don't have. Well, we do have numbers. We do have numbers. If I swipe the whole screen, we have numbers. So I can type in our number for the pin. And that's the Bourne Legacy plane. Again, you see this is 2.35 to 1. So just come back to the remote here, ring down this, and press that button there, and the screen changes to 2.35 to 1. So that's uh, Sky. And now let's uh, see what the Xbox is like. So we'll bring this up and we've got our sources on the left hand side. So I'm going to press Xbox. And what happens now is the four way masking changes to surround the screen that is positioned, the TV, which is positioned behind the screen. So you can see that the whole screen's moved down, the white area has moved down, the artwork is also moving down. And you can now see there's actually a hole in this section of screen, which reveals the TV behind it. And uh, this is the Xbox firing up. There we go. So that's the Xbox. We uh, choose to uh, play games using the telly because we don't want to um, use up the life of the projector for hours and hours on end when a TV is perfectly fine for playing games on. Although we can play games on the projector if we want to. Um, so that's the Xbox. <clears throat> if we want to listen to music, uh, we use the remote and there's a music option here and we press that, that switches the Xbox off, switches the TV off and returns the screen back to the artwork so that we can listen to music and for that we use the Sonos app. Let's go to the music library on the Sonos app. Let's pick a nice bit of music. Um, Castaway. 
So this is playing through the Sonos box. Let's take a close up look at uh, this bit of Star Wars artwork by Andrew Timms. So we have uh, the Empire on the left with the Emperor in the, uh, in the middle there, Grand Moff Tarkin. And the other characters, Boba Fett, with some TIE Fighters. I mean, this went into like mega detail. It's a TIE Fighter just there as well. Uh, <clears throat> and then we've got a sort of raging battle in the middle, and then we've got the Rebel Alliance forces with. On Mothma, is it in the uh, centerpiece there? With is he Nate? Is he Nianyuk? And Lando. And um, what's his name? Uh, I don't know. And um, Wedge. That one was taken from. I think when he was flying around in um, the Battle of Hoth. Uh, with the um, projection of the Death Star there from Return of the Jedi. And uh, so this battle raging in the middle, we've got, um, uh, that's the explosion from the end of the TIE Fighter attack. And we've got uh, X-Wings um, flying against the TIE Fighters. There's an R2 unit. And uh, you can see all that detail is even on the smallest one. <clears throat> and then we've got the Falcon. And all that detail. It's really tricky to get a, a, an image of the Falcon, actually, because if you try and s grab one from one of the movies, well, it's always got motion blur on it because it's always flying so fast. And then we've got the Star Destroyer up here with a shuttle. Other Star Destroyers. And then we also have the, the Falcon is chasing these TIE Interceptors. So with this uh, explosion here from Return of the Jedi, the big uh, space battle there. And these are the TIE Interceptors here. <clears throat> and then in the bottom third we have uh, these three scenes of the main characters. So. Uh, how could we? How could we not put Leia in, in her bikini? Uh, sorry, but rather predictable. There we go. This was the scene from the sail barge when she was looking at Luke about to be thrown into the pit of Sarlacc, and then we've got the scene from um, Empire when the Falcon was in the uh, asteroid field. I think. Most of the elements were taken. That certainly uh, 3PO was taken from from that. Uh, although this shot of Han was taken from the end of uh, New Hope, and we enhanced Chewie. This Chewie, the head of Chewie here, was taken from Return of the Jedi, and I, and I asked Andrew if he could really emphasise the blue in his eyes from Peter Mayhew. There, so that's that. And then finally, we've got. Uh, Dagobo with Luke being tutored by uh, Yoda. Um, I did a scene by, like, um, frame by frame pause on this to get exactly the right expression on Luke's face with him kind of struggling to understand what Yoda's teaching him. And then we got Obi-Wan from just after he's lifted his hood off in uh, New Hope and uh, as he's... Um, discovers R2 and then um, we've got R2 uh, dirty after coming out of the swamp and then there's the downed uh, X-Wing in the swamp there on Dagobah. I wanted to actually do something a little bit different and 
not have the droids together and that's how I managed to do that and then the center of the um, artwork just as the centerpiece really of all first six movies is Anakin Skywalker Darth Vader there as the center of the whole piece and that's it um, that's the artwork by Andrew Timms which I think is great lots and lots to look at so there we go I'll just show you uh, putting the iPad away that we used to control all this it goes on the launch port dock which is on the wall handy for when we first come in the room and you just plonk it on like that and it's charging <coughs> So, that's the artwork again, let's turn it off, and we'll turn off the lights, and we're done.